the hate, the controversy, the plagiarism towards ooh, oh, oh. It's literally a face. Is this the worst K-pop debut of all time? Let's find out. Dude, the film grain, the 35 millimeter, this feels so dope. The smoke, how did they get it this foggy? Okay, literally off the bat, they start talking about the eyes. The song title, which I have no idea how to freaking pronounce. Is it ooh? Is it oh oh? Is it anyway? They're like, right when you see us, fam, you're gonna have this reaction. She's literally talking to reactors like me. It's amazing. They literally did a zoom when talking about zoom. This filmmaker already is like blowing my socks off, like straight up. Oh! product placement went so far that they not only had just like had a coke in there they put the sound of a coke and put the name of coke in the song girl you're gonna dump your coke out watch watch it so she literally just opened the coke and then the very next moment she's just like i don't know if you saw that but i am wet now well, anyway, that detail bothered me because she literally opened an empty Coke. What is Coke saying by that product placement? They're saying, if you buy a Coke and you open it, it's not going to be anything in there. It's going to be empty. Anyway, that's just me being extra, maybe. So cool. It's very easy. You just tilt up and show the ceiling. And the director is so good that we don't even have to do a mask or anything. We literally just cut to the next shot and it's a black clear frame into the next shot sideways, which defies our expectations, which audiences like. Whenever you can defy expectations, people will like it more. Dude, these transitions, this director is so freaking good. So we got a little bit of controversy coming out. We got plagiarism. We got people hating the song. We got people saying, what the frick, JYP? What is this debut? Let's look at a couple frames here. This frame is very similar to this AT's frame. And here's the thing with plagiarism. When you're planning out a music video, you make like a PowerPoint called a treatment. And it has images showing you what the music video is going to look like. Usually people take images from past music videos and put them in the treatment just so people can get a vibe for what it's kind of gonna look like. But once you're starting to put images together that look pretty much exactly the same, that's when you're like, okay, we went a little bit too far and executed the treatment too well. Obviously you can't copyright this actually, you can't copyright an image like that, but there is a fine line where fans will start to get mad if it looks too similar. Dude, this is fire. I don't know what y'all are saying. This is fire. Look at this domino effect. She ran through this brick wall like 12 times. Maybe they thought this was like the coolest VFX shot ever. And they're like, okay, we have to put it in like more. I need more. I need more. Put it in again. Sound effects. What a good match cut, bro. She runs into a door. A perfect match cut. Stop the video. Do you remember this old jank stand? Well, we got a new one, and his name is... Stan. Doesn't he look beautiful? Stan, he's now part of the family because of you. All right, I really wish there was some sound here. They're creating like an augmented reality kind of concept. In the lyrics, they're talking about ones and zeros. This is an entirely new concept from what we were talking about earlier. We don't have those BA warriors. Now we have something a little different. They're saying everything is fake, but I'm not fake. Like she's flying out of the pick and mix donut shop, which you know, is a clever play on the name. And by the way, the N in N mix stands for new and the mix stands for all different kinds of people coming together to create a group. Could be wrong about that. Let me know what you think in the comments. They're like, have you been having too many realistic dreams? Let me welcome you to this dream where it's freaking not reality. They're like, bro, you don't freaking need reality. Come watch some music videos with us, and it's we're gonna transport you to another world. <laughs> There's a whale blasting his way out of the freaking donut shop. I don't even want to know what that insurance claim's gonna look like. This whale really just be like. <gasps> 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 Okay, whale, I see you. By the way, when I was a small child, I literally talked to whales. Cut that out. Don't put that in. <laughs> what the f 
freak is happening? The amount of VFX and money they've spent on this. Just look at this. We got an island that's just speakers. We got an island that's like a tea party. We got an island that's just an island. The thing that is continually impressing me about this video though is the amount of transitions. Like the director pre-planned out everything so he knew how each scene was going to the next one. So we have her jumping off of the island coming down and then we have a tilt down to the camera very simple but that takes up the quality like eight thousand percent this is one of the best k-pop videos i'm not talking about the song videos that i've seen in a very long time Here's another image. Looks very similar to this AT's image. Obviously they took inspiration, but you guys can't copy it this close. You gotta do something different. They're gonna be fine getting away with it, but fans are gonna notice and then it reflects poorly on you. So legally, it's fine, but with your reputation, it's maybe not the best look. This island like sky scene thing is pretty cool. See again, every transition is on point. The boom. This is why I think people are not enjoying this maybe as much because this is not a catchy pop song that you can just pop your headphones on and go for a run, you know, down the street and say hi to your neighbor. What's up, Jerry? This is literally a trailer for a K-pop group, meaning you're not going to get the song from a trailer stuck in your head, really. Instead, they're advertising themselves. They're like, hey, we could do this concept. We could do this concept. All of their skills in one video. <laughs> Now, the, the problem may be this is not super rewatchable. Oh my gosh, the editing is so good. This is like their BA concept. They're like, it's freaking donut time and we're gonna be dressed in some sexy outfits and we're just going to rock your socks off. I don't know why that voice came out. But yeah, bro, they're just like doing a trailer of different concepts. Oh, the pick went away and it just end mix. Maybe that's how they got their name, the neon sign broke. Yes! Okay, I don't know what y'all are tripping about. This is one of the most fire videos I've seen. I get it that it's not a catchy song, but it's really more like three or four songs and three or four music videos all mashed together. I think this was really freaking cool. Congratulations to Rebecca. You just won $500 for subscribing to the channel. Be sure not to buy too many photo cards and light sticks with that. Now be careful. <laughs> and thanks to everyone else who subscribed and helped us to get to 500K. If we get to a million this year, I will do a dance cover of a K-pop song of your choice. So comment below what you want me to do. You matter. You're so important. Jesus loves you. I love you. Subscribe to see more videos, and I'll see you in the next one.